It also comes into play when I say, man, if you would just teach them how to do the thing, then you no longer have to do it, whether it be videotaping, whatever it is, teach somebody, take the time. Hey there leaders, how are you doing today, this week? I hope you're having an amazing time and what you're doing and, and in your office every single day, leading your team into changing the lives of the people that you serve. And I'm just excited to be here today with another leadership video. And today is something that's interesting because I hear a lot, you know, I give a lot of suggestions, I give a lot of ideas. You know, I feel like my job as your advisor is to look at the situation that you're in and then give you multiple ideas and processes that you can choose from. Every once in a while, I'll be like, do this and you will get better results, right? I'll be more specific, but oftentimes I'll try to give you a, a group of ideas that I think will help you. Well, one of the things that I hear back from so many people often is, oh man, but that's just, it's just hard. It's gonna be, take a lot of work. So for example, one of the ones I, I give often is, is to make sure that you guys are videotaping what you're doing when you're training new people, especially when you're training new people so you can create a video library of those trainings so you can no longer have to worry about taking someone who is a valuable asset of your team, slowing their productivity down so that they can help someone else learn the same processes or the processes they need to, to be caught up to what you need them to know. Instead, use a video, right? You guys have heard me say this before. If you haven't seen those, I think I've done three videos on that now. If I haven't done it in your office, it's something that I'm very passionate about. I think it just makes so much sense. Use the automation of video. Okay, but the problem is this, and I get it. The problem is, is that it takes a while to do that. It takes some time to uh, set aside, to make sure that you're planning which videos you're gonna do and, and how you're gonna do them and, and, uh, and the length of, of make sure you're staying on task because the length of how uh, many you have to do, it it's, can be overwhelming, I get it. It also comes into play when I say, man, if you would just teach them how to do the thing, then you no longer have to do it, whether it be videotaping, whatever it is, teach somebody, take the time. And then it's a matter of, well, I could just do it faster if I just do it myself. Well, today's point is that there's a saying that is so true, which is, if you choose to do things that are easy, your life is going to be hard. But if you choose to do things that will be hard, that are hard, your life will be easy. I want you to think about that when it comes to this context. Sometimes I get it. It's so much easier for you just to say, forget it, I'll do it myself. But that's why you live in a hard world. That's why you live in a world of frustration and overwhelm. And why is it that I have to keep telling these people over and over and over again the same thing? Didn't we cover this last week or two weeks ago? I always think it's so funny when I, um, I go into the live trainings in the office the first time and I'll do, oftentimes you'll probably have me do the handshake training. And I'll talk about having your team members, your smile uh, architects, your assistants, CDA, whatever you call them, that them coming past that threshold, right? And shaking the hand of the person and greeting them, giving them a different experience than what they get everywhere else by doing the handshake, going out and personally meeting them. And I'll, I'll do that training. And I would say probably, I won't, I won't say 90. Well, it's 80, 80% 80 of the time. I get a doctor come up to me afterwards, maybe one of you, they're like, do you know what? We talk about this all the time. I've totally talked to them about this. I don't know what the deal is. Well, it's because you don't have the steps to implement follow-up to make sure that it's happening over and over. The accountability factor, the, the making sure that the training's happening over and over again, and letting them know that it is a non-negotiable, right? Because that's hard. It's hard to create those systems to oversee them and to make sure that it happens and make sure it becomes part of the culture and just the modus operandi, if you will, of what we do. And so you don't, you choose the easy part. You're like, oh my gosh, I just wish they would do it. Why won't they do it? So you choose the easy, so therefore your life is hard. But if you just did that hard thing, if you just took the time to record the videos, if you just took the time to take to do the trainings, if you just took the time to teach your, uh, your, your RDAs or your assistants to do your claim checks, 
in your clean checks instead of you doing them. Like do it up to a point until you just have to prove them. If you took the time to do that, your life would be easy. So my plea to you today, and I suggest you teach this to your teams, to your kids if you got kids. If you choose to do the things that are easy, your life is going to be hard. So therefore, in this family, in this office, with this team, we do things that are hard so our life will be easy. I hope that serves you guys today. I hope you get the, the spirit of what I'm trying to share with you. Guys, I'm not teaching anything that I am not constantly learning myself. I constantly have to learn this lesson. If I would just do it and take the time and do it hard, do the hard stuff, it's going to make it so much easier later on. And it's true. I create the curriculum. I create the curriculums for uh, the propreneur, for the TC sales training, for uh, all of the core process, right? It took some, it took a lot of time. It was hard. Writing my book, it was hard. But because I took that time to do the hard thing, because you took the time to do the hard thing in school, right? The process of doing what you do is not the problem. It's now the minutia of running a business and all that other thing. So you get my point. I hope you're having an awesome week and I hope this serves you and I can't wait to talk to you again on the next video. We'll talk to you then. Bye-bye.